Hey everybody, it's Friday, so it's time for 2QQ. That's two quick questions where you can ask me anything you want about real estate. Today we're going to be talking about the Zestimate and any other automated valuation model. Are they worthwhile? Are they accurate? And then number two, how can you determine the age of the water heater and the HVAC system? So stick around and we'll talk about it in just a bit. Hey everybody, it's Brad Cox from the Vesta Group of Long & Foster. Let's jump right in to today's 2QQ. First question is about automated valuation tools like the Zillow Zestimate and others of that ilk. And the question is, are they accurate? And the short answer is, no, not really. Here's an example. Back in 2016, in February, then CEO of Zillow, Spencer Raskoff, sold his Seattle home for 40%, that's 40%, not $40,000, but 40% less than the Zillow's estimate, which for that particular home amounted to about $700,000. Let's let that sink in. So why were they so far off? Well, there are a number of reasons why an automated tool can't do as good of a job as a human being when determining the value of the home. First and foremost, you have to ask the question, has Zillow ever been inside your house? Do they know about the quartz countertops that you have, or the bathrooms that you just updated, or the finished basement that you put in two years ago? Now, there are certain areas where an automated valuation tool may do a better job. If you live in a community where there are many, many homes, and there's a decent amount of turnover, and those homes are fairly standardized, similar size home, similar size lot, similar features, similar year of construction, then an automated valuation tool may do a better job. But for example, here on the East Coast, and especially in Maryland, where you might have a farmhouse that was built in the 1800s next to a community of McMansions that was built 20 years ago, next to a community of townhomes that was built just last year, that's too much for an algorithm to take into consideration, no matter how sophisticated it is. So what are your choices then when you're trying to determine the value of the home? Well, there are generally two routes that you can take. The first option is to hire an appraiser. An appraiser can come out and they'll give you a written report with details on the comps that they used and the value that they've determined. And that fee will cost you somewhere between 400 to several thousand dollars, depending on the size of the home. Or you can contact your local neighborhood realtor who has a great idea of what's going on in the market, how things are trending, what homes have sold, what those homes are like, the features that are in those homes. We've probably been inside those homes and we can give you a much more accurate number. And that is usually free as part of a listing consultation. Okay, question number two. And this question is asked by almost every single buyer as we're touring homes, so it's pretty relevant. How do you determine the age of the HVAC and the water heater? These are pretty expensive systems and people want to know how old they are. So we have a few tools in our toolkit that can help us to do that. Now every once in a while you'll get lucky and there will be a plate attached to the side of the unit and it will tell you the manufacture date and sometimes they'll even have a sticker that tells you the install date. And if that's there, then fantastic, your life is a lot easier. But if it's not, then there are a few tools that you can use to help determine the age. Here's one quick tip. If you have an HVAC system that's manufactured by Carrier, Carrier has a unique schema to their serial number that can help you determine the age. Typically what you'll see is four numbers followed by a letter followed by several other numbers. And if you see that format, then you can look at those first four digits and determine the age. The first two digits are the week that it was manufactured and the second two digits are the year. So if you see 2407, you know that it was manufactured in the 24th week of the seventh year. Another great tool is a phenomenal website, building-center.org. If you go to this site, you can look up by manufacturer and model number, any particular HVAC or water heater system that you want, and you can quickly and easily determine the age of manufacture. Okay, that wraps up today's 2QQ. Now remember, if you have any questions about anything real estate related, 
you can either comment below or you can shoot me an email at brad at homesbybesta.com and I'll be happy to answer that in one of our upcoming shows. And remember, while you're here, please like and comment and share if you found this meaningful. And thanks for listening. We'll talk to you soon.